everybody, this is Cressel Snapdragon again, and today what we're going to do is we're going to add our bot to a cloud application platform so that it can be on 24-7. I'm going to do this using Heroku because it is a free cloud application platform for up to five apps, and you can see I only have two, so I have plenty of room to add more apps. What we're going to do first is we're going to hit new, and of course I'll put the link to Heroku in the info panel below, and you're going to want to make a login first and foremost. But once you make a login, it should bring you to the dashboard.heroku.com slash apps. And then you just want to go to new, create a new application, Gorgon Bot. You don't have to do anything with the pipeline. Create app. So we are going to use the Heroku Git deployment method. And the first thing you want to do is just make sure you have node.js downloaded. I'll put this link in the info panel below. Make sure you have that installed. Make sure it's the most up-to-date version of Node. Then come back here and you want to download the Heroku CLI. I'll put this link in the bottom info as well. I have Windows, so I downloaded the 64-bit installer. And so it basically just releases an ex executable file to install Heroku on your computer. And then you want to go to your command prompt. Now Heroku is really good about giving directions for how to get their app to be deployed on their platform. And so as long as you go to their development center, can see everything that you really need to know. But what we're going to go down to now is the npm install. And what you want to do is you want to open up your command prompt and type in npm install slash g Heroku, and it's going to install the most up to date version of the Heroku CLI. But you want to make sure, as they say here, that you have the most up to date version of Node for this to work. Okay, so we have installed the most up to date version of Heroku. Now what we can do next is verify our Heroku version by typing in Heroku hyphen hyphen version and we have Heroku 7.27 which is the up-to-date version of Heroku and we also have the most up-to-date version of Node, so 11.13 current version of Node. Now let's go back here to the application page of Heroku and we're going to start following these directions down here to deploy our app. So first thing that we want to do is do Heroku login. Press any key, and what's that, what that is going to do is it's going to open up your browser so that you can log into Heroku. So now that we've logged into Heroku, now we have to download the Git. So we come to here, we go to Git Downloads, I'll put this link down in the bottom info panel as well, and you want to download the most recent version of Git. Once you've downloaded the Git, and you can come to your bots a folder and you should see if you right click on it, it'll say git bash here. So this is when we start using these commands down here to create a new git repository and deploy our application. So we're just going to follow what they have here, git init. That's going to create a git repository. This is going to create that repository for the Gorgon bot. Okay, and now we're going to add our application to Heroku, typing in git add and then space before period. Now we're just going to let it do its thing. So now we've built the git repository. Now we're going to commit our bot to the application. So we're going to type in git commit. We're going to say first commit because this, this is our first time committing. Okay. Now we've committed the repository, now we're going to push it. So again, these are the codes that we're using. We just added the git repository, committed our application, and now we're pushing it to Heroku. Okay, now it's done. What we should see now, if we come back to Heroku and go to resources, It's going to have npm start. Now this is not actually what we want. We're going to have to make a change to our folder. And the reason why I didn't make this change originally is because I also want to show you guys how to recommit the bot to the git repository after you make changes to it at any time. So we've already made our first commit of the bot to the Heroku, right? And we've already pushed it. So now we're going to make a change and I'm going to show you how to re-push it again every time you make a change to the bot. So what we have to do, because we didn't do it last time, 
is we have to open what's called Atom. I'll put a link for this in the info panel as well. I want to open up the bot folder. So what we want to do is we want to create a new file within our folder. So you're going to right click the bot name and this is going to be called proc file. And what we're going to do here is we're going to tell Heroku what application to use to start the bot. So we're not using npm to start. We're using bot.js in this case. So we're going to say node bot.js and that's how it's going to start the bot. Now we're going to save our bot. And then we're going to go back to our git bash. And now we're just going to go back to deploy. Notice that the commands are different now because we've already deployed our bot once. Now Heroku is just showing us how to make a second commit and push it again. So we're going to go back to our git bash because we're already logged into Heroku. And we're going to do deploy changes because we've made changes to the folder. Now we have to deploy them as well. So we're going to do git add again, git commit. This is our second commit. Okay, notice it says create mode for proc file. And now we're going to say git push Heroku master. So this is what you will do every time you make a change to your bot. You're just going to recommit it and push it again. Okay, now if we go back to our resources and just give it a second here. All right, now here it's showing us nodebot.js. We want it to start from the proc file. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to turn off the web start. We're going to turn this on. And now we're going to go view our log. Okay. So it looks like we've gotten an error. It says, please copy the actions folder from the Discord bot maker directory to this bots directory. So what we want to do now is we want to go to where our Discord bot server is saved. under Steam, Emaps, Common, Discord Bot Maker. And here's the Actions folder. So we want to copy this Actions folder into our bot. This is actually a error I've never seen before. So we're just going to do the same thing again. Okay. It's our third commit. Git push Heroku master. Okay, you can see that it's already saying build started. And let's see if it works. Build succeeded. Okay. Bot is ready. Okay, great. So now what you do is you go back to your Discord and it's now online and it's going to be online for forever. So that is how, well, for 24 7, unless, unless you pull down or it just craps out on you. So that is how you set up the Discord bot maker on the Heroku Cloud platform. And it's going to work pretty much. The Swanson bot's been working for forever and I haven't had to make any push changes or anything. So that is how you set it up. I hope this was really helpful to you. Let me know if you have any problems.